If you need unlimited domination, clutch time, or anything else grinded, make sure you hit up Rose NBA on Twitter for quick, safe, and reliable grinding services. Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new pink diamond, DeMar DeRozan. The first pink diamond that I pulled this year in my team. I'm super excited to use this card. Also needed him to lock in for Tim Thomas because he was the one card that I couldn't get guaranteed basically buying automatically because I could buy cream from the uh, pack market and then buy all the diamonds and blow from the auction house. So got lucky to pull DeMar and that meant we were able to lock in Tim Thomas, who's the best card in the game early, which was awesome. Uh, but I'm excited to see DeMar in his own right. Like this card is going to be in incredible in my team uh six foot seven or six yeah six foot seven shooting guard he's got amazing release i think this card's gonna be one of the top shooting guards in the game before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 8,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day i really appreciate it if you do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it and see what damar is looking like so six seven shooting guard a small forward 98 offense 94 defense definitely gonna be better at the shooting guard position 94 driving layup uh 92 draw foul 92 close shot 96 midi only a 79 three ball but i can work with it he's got a great release he'll be just fine as a shooter 70 standing dunk 95 driving dunk 90 ball handle 65 block is a little low but 80 interior is really good 86 steel 88 perimeter is super solid uh 92 speed and excel 88 steel ball and an 89 lateral quickness as well so stats are really really good all the way around badge wise six hops include fast twitch fearless finisher limitless takeoff and post riser also mini magician which makes sense with the mar and then hoff quick first step which is an amazing badge for him to have on hoff also 21 golds include badges like acrobat bully slithery amped comeback kid dead eye green machine guard up slip off ball space creator volume shooter ankle breaker clamp breaker candles for days hyperdrive killer combos chase down artist and pogo stick uh silver giant slayer post spin bailout mismatch expert needle threader unpluckable vice grip ankle braces challenger clamps off ball pest workhorse as well as bronze catch and shoot and menace look at the badges that you can actually upgrade on the card you can upgrade his catch and shoot a few of his good silver badges as well so i def definitely would make sure to upgrade catch and shoot in some of those silvers um and in terms of badges you can add to them i would definitely go rise up and claymore as well as probably dimer pick dodger and maybe something like a rebound chase um, but with the few badges added to this Damar, he looks really good all the way around. All right, hopping into freestyle here with Damar. Let's see how he moves. So SIGs wise, size up is actually really good. I like his size up a lot, which is really, really nice. Uh, it's not as good as Steve Francis size up on a guy like Tim Thomas. I'm gonna talk about Tim Thomas a lot today, I think, because this card, that Tim Thomas card is nutty, but he does move pretty darn well. I'd say like in terms of his dribble style, I don't know what it is, but it's not bad. I think it might be like the jaw dribble style or something. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it's pretty good. Release is elite. It's the same type of release that Damar has had the last few years where it is absolutely knocked down that Trey Burke type base. Uh, I don't know what it's called now specifically but it is a knockdown release very smooth fast easy to green consistent just a really really good release in terms of his leaner i don't think he has normal leaner let's see he does not have normal leaner uh which it's it looks like a fine leaner though i think he should be able to knock it down pretty consistently and then on offense the best thing he's going to do is slash to the rim half quick first step half limitless takeoff half post or half fast twitch badges like that are gonna be really big on damar i think he is going to be an absolute dog on my team there's no doubt about that whatsoever on the offensive end is gonna be an elite slasher a guy who can shoot the ball at a high level with a really really good release i know his three-point rating is a tiny bit low but trust me it's not going to be an issue with damar defensively i will say his badges don't look insane but his stats look pretty solid i think he's just gonna be really really good all the way around at shooting guard interested to see how he compares to guys like our test jimmy butler ray allen and players like that at the shooting guard position so let's hop into a game and let's see what damar DeRozan can do Hop into the game on the defensive end. We're going to start DeMar on ball. See how he does defensively on ball. Uh, our opponent's got Draymond Green. He's normal fading with Draymond. I respect him. He's not going to knock it down. We're going to get the board, and we're going to push it up in transition. He's got Pink Diamond uh, Embiid as well, but then I think he's got uh, Amethyst Kelly Oubre, uh, Diamond Kimba, a couple other cards. Like I don't know what this dude's team is, to be completely honest, but it's not a very great team outside of uh, Draymond and Kareem. Or, I'm sorry, Embiid, but let's get the ball in, and let's see if we can get Dray or, uh, DeMar going on the offensive end of the court. Uh, see if we can create some shots here going through the screen. Yes, sir. Hitting our pop to Demar, Demar attacking through, dragging back, attack the baseline. Demar DeRozan all the way to the rim. Hoff limitless takeoff, throwing down a dunk to start off the game, and he's gonna put it in easily, and that's going to start us off very well with two quick points on the offensive end of the court. Let's not double. Uh, I do not need my players doubling for no reason. Tough shot for him, and he's not gonna knock that down. He's trying to normal fade, but he was not open there whatsoever. And we're getting the ball right back up to Demar, pushing the ball in transition. Really good size up, attacking through all the way to the rim. Look at the bully badge, yes sir. Demar DeRozan just pushing him out of the way, able to get it to go and he's up to four quick points on the game as a slasher very very solid start for sure for DeMar let's get out there and let's, that's not a good shot at all okay apparently it was a good shot because somehow he got like a weird blinders type animation and got an open on it but we'll live with it he's gonna not guard Tim Thomas in the corner at all which is the worst decision you can make never mind because I absolutely suck and I smoke a wide open shot no assist there for DeMar unfortunately that is a force as well if he greens that yo this dude is green and some 
interesting shots to start off this game. I'll give him props. I smoked that assist terribly though on that last possession. So let's see if we can get going right back in the offensive end of the go on the offensive end of the court, slashing the rim again, going up. That was a good look, I felt like, for the layup, but unfortunately he wasn't able to knock it down. We're gonna go up strong and we're gonna get blocked again. Goodness gracious, get out the paint. Chill, chill. My offense is pretty, pretty horrible right now. We're gonna get a standing dunk, luckily though. DeMar getting to the rim, able to still put it down. Definitely a sloppy start to the game. We are still able to knock down, get another dunk there, and we've got six points already with DeMar. Definitely want to get him more involved in terms of his shooting. This dude is just normal fade, man. I mean, he is fading left and right with the meter on. I respect it. He's greening his shots, so good shots by him for sure. Stop it on the break. DeMar DeRozan, 4-3. Knockdown. Yes, sir. Green light. DeMar DeRozan hits his first three of the game, and he's got nine points already. I gotta say, I'm not sure if I like my opponent's offense or not. It's working for him, but I'm not sure I'm impressed by it. Attack the rim, Damar, Hoff, limitless takeoff, Hoff, posterizer, throwing it down, and he is been he's been an elite slasher so far in this game. We gotta get a couple stops though, because my opponent is just scoring on some pretty unorthodox things. I feel like he's forcing up some questionable shots, and he's getting them to go pretty consistently. So let's see if we can play a little bit of defense, finish off this possession with a stop. Hopefully, uh, good defense, jump. Yep, he's out of bounds. Beautiful. That was great defense. Got ourselves a stop, and we are up one now at the chance to extend our lead. Hopefully we're actually going to get a pick and pop here with Damar on this possession. See if we can get him a catch and shoot opportunity. That would be really, really nice on this possession if we could do that. And we're going to get a pretty. Oh, no, we're not. Not yet. Anyway. Okay. Sizing up. Yes, sir. Damar attack the baseline. Beautiful attack all the way through. Hit it into Hakeem. Hakeem go up strong. It's easy standing dunk. Easy assist for Damar. And we got ourselves a three point lead. Did a really good job of drawing attention there as the slasher there. Able to dump it off to Hakeem for an easy standing dunk. And that is great to see for sure. Is he going to force up a normal, another, another normal fade? I believe he is going to force up another normal fade. This time we're waiting for it. We're able to get a good contest. And Damar is leaking again in transition. He's going to throw it on another easy dunk. He has been incredible as a slasher in this game. Uh, good defense as well. And let's see if we can get ourselves another stop. Don't attack Tim Thomas. That's a bad idea. 6 10 to 3 with his ability. I don't think that's a good idea at all to attack that, to attack that man. Contest again. Beautiful. We're not giving up any more normal fades. Great contest again. And we are going to get the ball back yet again. We're in control of this game all of a sudden. Now, now that I'm not giving up the shots he was looking for, there you go. That's going to do it right there. Let's hop back to the main menu and let's review this DeMar DeRozan card. All right. In conclusion, DeMar, he's an elite slasher at the shooting guard position with a really good release, super solid sigs and capable defense. He's a very good shooting guard in my team. I think he's a top five shooting guard in the game. That being said, I would probably put him at number five. I have a hard time putting him over guys like Jimmy or Ron Artest, a Ray Allen or a Clyde Drexler. I think those are the four best shooting guards in the game in some order. And for me, I don't think DeMar is better than any of those guys. So I would probably put him at number five. That being said, he has a very good card to use, very fun card to use. And since I locked him in for Tim Thomas, we'll definitely get him a try on my squad but i can't see him playing over jimmy or our test at the two for me personally but uh very very good card regardless definitely going to be an amazing option at the shooting guard position especially for all y'all who are locking in tim thomas and they're gonna have damar on your squad anyway he's a guy who can play that position at a very high level and give you an elite level shooting guard in my team considering a lot of y'all are already gonna have him anyway when you lock in for tim thomas so hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace